Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to WhatsApp, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bon Bon B and you're very, very welcome. Right, it's Friday, Friday's the day of the week. We turn to the Bon Bon Buddies over on Patreon and tell you, hey guys, vote us in a map. And they've gone with this one. And boy, what a choice it is. You see, today's map is what I would call the perfect example of why I make this show at all. The creator clearly has some skills and an artistic vision, but the map has some problems which aren't obvious from the workshop page at all. So if you happen to like the map, that's good. Definitely good, it is a good map. But this show will help you to avoid the problems and actually have a fun build on it without wasting too much of your time. And hopefully be entertaining as we go along as well. And maybe, maybe the creator will learn a thing or two as well if they join us. If you're joining us though, make sure you grab yourself a bonbon bingo card, play along just for fun. There's no prizes. Just the joy of winning. And of course, the joy of this. That's right, taking joy and clicking the like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's map is Knock On Miss by Good Kid Mad City. Yeah, the thumbnail taken by night. Seen that before, haven't we? Haven't we just <laughs> several times? Uh, there's your start square. That looks really strong, really playable, and pre-cut harbors for those that don't mind pre-cut harbors. Uh, your terrain heights look like this. Plenty of flat buildable space and some bold, bold artistic uh, hills and mountains. Res uh, resources are good and strong as well. So there we go. That's always good too. And then if you've got Sunset Harbor and you want to do some fishing, your fishing map will look like this. But what do we need off the workshop? The answer is a few bits, okay? It's an industries map. You will need the industries for this one. And then we've got a few things to subscribe to. We'll be using the Reaper Real Dark Road theme, uh, the Reaper Realistic Final LUT theme mixers too for a little bit of a setting adjustment. And um, uh, there's more description there. Now, I have been having some trouble with Tree Anarchy. And uh, this was the uh, first time I loaded up the map. It gave me the wrong start square. Crazy days. Fortunately, though, I have managed to get this working, though, and uh, we have actually... I mean, why? Why there? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we got the map working, and the start square is as I showed you earlier. Now, uh, as it does say at the end of the uh, workshop description, uh, there are a few assets required off of the industry's DLC, just for detailing, and uh, so... Strictly speaking, if you don't have them, I don't think your map will be broken. But uh, they do add a little bit, just a little bit here and there to the map itself. Uh, the map is is strong. It's got vision. It's got style, and it's in the fantastical uh, kind of category that we have. Now uh, we have reviewed uh, Good Kid Mad City once in the past, uh, episode thirteen hundred and fifty six, where they got fairly strong 10 stars which is not too bad for a first appearance on the show uh can they maintain this well we've got a few trees underneath the highway down there always a danger having trees under the highway it when we do the flyovers you're going to notice that on the whole the highways are clear of trees which goes to tell me that good kid mad city i'm going to stop doing that i'm going to say uh, the creator <laughs> does know what they're doing about in terms of keeping the road areas clear of foliage. Um, I've got this thing where, because of the anarchy settings that I use, they any trees underneath the road, like just along here, will show up and under, not just the roads, but also any props, assets, uh, railways, all those sort of things as well. So they'll anything that's tucked away will show through, which might not be the case for yourself. Now heading up towards our first intersection. Now I'm gonna say, just because I want to um, drag things out a bit, let me just point the camera up at the sky. I don't wanna show you that. I'm not gonna say if it's good work or bad work. I'm just gonna say, I'm not gonna show you that until later. <laughs> a little bit of a jinky going on. Oh, intersection marking tool. If you happen to have it operational, we have some of the intersections are marked out with the intersection marking tool. Uh, what work there is with the intersection marking tool does appear of a decent standard today, which is good to see. You don't need it, 
Uh, but if you have it, it's a bit of a bonus. We've got a bit of an up and over on the rail here. We'll come and have a look at the rail a bit later on. But uh, but yeah, a little bit of an upsy downy on the rail. And elevated highways. It's a fantasy style map, a fantastical map. So I don't mind too much with the uh, the roads being elevated where they're not really needed to be elevated and they transition quite da smoothly down to ground as well so there's all bonus points there as well uh next intersection here uh we've uh, we got all the um it's the uh, penis intersection <laughs> we, we've all seen one of these <laughs> we've got the internet after all and uh, and then and oh, we've got um very close I like the way the pillars are placed actually slightly clipping through with the Leah street lamps but I like the positioning of the pillars and uh, and we've got lane mathematics too which is nice very nice a few slightly encroaching trees here and there but mostly clear of trees as we go along uh, next intersection here we got clusters of trees and here's the first sign there might be a few problems along with uh, this two lane road here that is a network extensions to highway yep and earlier on on the flyover as we we're going along there was actually a mass transit highway as well this map needs both network extensions to and mass transit start squares over there we'll be going over there later. i'm going to take a left here uh, because this is a more interesting route. We could go and have a look. We'll have a look at the Start Square later. I'm pretty sure you'd be okay with checking that out later. Now, this road, I feel, was either done first or last or mistakenly or something. But we have forgotten about clearing the uh, the road of trees here. It takes an interesting route. Um, I don't know if it really adds anything to the map. I, I, I understand why it's taking this route because we have made for this to be a drivable slope. We're going up to the highest point of the map. It's going to give you a nice view over the entire environment. I get all of this. I get all of this. I just don't know if it really adds much to the map starting up here. But um, there we go. You've got another penis up there as well. <laughs> Or is that more of a bullet, isn't it? That one? Uh, anyway, uh, and now we we got rail. The rail doesn't actually connect with the edge of the map at the top here. So this big old slope coming down the hill into the buildable space, um, it's I know it's a, fanta a fantasy map, so we can ignore slopes that are beyond really. But there's no point for that even being there. It doesn't connect with the edge of the map. I don't understand. I really don't. Loads of trees on the line. Yes, it's a branch line. Uh, and we'll head off in this direction. So we go up and over that bridge again, which has got a bump, a bumpity bump in it. And uh, we'll hair around this way. But yes, so um, <laughs> we've got plenty to check out in the second half of the show. Don't think I've burned off all of the talking points already because I really haven't. Um, there was a factory there. Was it anybody's favorite factory? It was everybody's favorite factory and uh, down off this way now you can see we have got a clearing here where i reckon there was originally a highway took the highway away didn't move the rail into that gap would have made a bit of sense to me do your college sex look like this do you want them to look like this then you need the beginner's guide to the perfect call to sex by bon bon b Click the information button now. And so back to the shipping routes at Nokomis by Good Kid Mad City. And um, some nice shipping triangles there. I'll give credit for those shipping triangles. Then this bridge, which is very tight and some sort of remnant of something under there. I don't know what that is. I couldn't work it out even when I deconstructed everything. Um, a little bit of a smiley, little turn around there, and um, and yeah, it's uh, it's uh, even that even that shipping triangle there makes some kind of sense. Uh, the bridges are a little bit low for vanilla, so you're probably going to want to do something with the advanced vehicle options. And here, this gets really mighty tight. How tight does it get mighty tight? Well, we've got a ship coming this way. Let me just speed things along and uh, see how this goes but yes yeah, so first of all the bridge is a little low how close to this is it gonna get hang on let's get the camera in place this is gonna be the most exciting part of the day 
Is it going to bounce off of that? If it does, that's another minus point. Yep, we're just clipping the edge there. So yeah, just uh, minor talking points across the hole. Just little flourishes here and there to tidy things up is all that's needed. Shipping triangle off to the edge of the map there. And then if we go this way, this takes us right back to the beginning of where it all began. So we check out the water flow. Shall we check the water flow? Now, I thought there was going to be water flow problems. I was wrong. Water flowing right the way through the start square. We've even got some uh, pumps in place as well in the right place because the water is flowing in the right direction for them in the location they're in. So bonus points there. The water actually flows right the way out into that area over there. So you'll be good. You'll be absolutely good. All told, the map is an interesting design. It's bold, it's strong, we've got some good shapes and some good ideas. Whether they've been completely finished to the highest level is a different story. But um, things like here, Spiral Mountain, I like this. I don't know how usable it is and you know in the city build map, but I like it. I think it's credible and we've got a really great view from up here over the centre of the map. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Uh, then we got uh, this rugged area over here. Again, it, on its own, it's perfectly fine. Does it fit with the rest of the map? Sort of, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Then we got this interesting hill ridge thing over here with water spawn point. We'll get a closer look at that a bit later on, but that feels a bit weird. And then over here, we got a big slab of land as well, which again, I probably wouldn't have worried about building the road up into the hills there, but it's there. We got this interesting islet here, which has got the, the sand running around the outside. It's a pretty good standard. There's a little bit of polishing needs doing along some of the beaches like here. Maybe the cliffs were intended. Maybe they are intended. I can believe that. I, okay, we'll give credit there. Okay, but at this end, you can see how the sand peters out and we've got the green showing through on the underside there. So there's a little bit of tidying could be done there. Also along here, this is on that big slab of land on the edge of the map. Just looks a bit glitchy along there. We do have a couple of very nice waterfalls. Been a long while and now we see some decent waterfalls back to back. Almost vertical drops these ones. And we've got a full curtain. A tight curtain of water, but a full curtain of water. Water, I tell you. Uh, and this one as well. That's that's more than pleasing. Although we do have a little ridge along the top of the waterfall that could be tidied up just a bit. Waterfalls though were tough. I I, I understand this. Uh, then up here, uh, don't know what that's adding apart from the fact we got in waterfalls out of it. Uh, from the side where you're going to get your city view from, it's a bit of an eyesore, I'm afraid. It looks interesting from above, but from over here, with the texturing of the uh, the rock, it just doesn't do anything. This is an interesting little area. It's a castle. Ooh, it's a castle. Decent looking castle. Um, we've got uh, towers that are impenetrable. Definitely impenetrable there. Maybe there's tunnels leading into them, who knows. We've got this little performance area as well. I mean, I'm assuming that's meant to be a stage and these are meant to be benches. Uh, I mean, it doesn't scale right, but who cares? Who cares? I don't care. I think that's that's quite pleasing. And we have over here a little staging area as well here for um, defending. Uh, okay, does it make sense? Hang on, what are you defending from? The mainland over there? Okay, so if there's a light to be an attack from that direction, Okay, if I was attacking from this direction, would I attack the castle? Um, no, I would bypass the castle. I would head over the river, over this area here. Um, but yeah, interesting use. Oh, some drowned trees here as well. They've got their trunks on though, don't worry. Um, yeah, interesting use of the piers there for bridges. I don't think it quite works, but I don't think it's a bad move either. Liking this little area though, okay, it's not quite perfection, but I do like the way the farm's been done. The choices of assets along here look amazing. And uh, apart from like say the farms running through the back gardens in, uh, in, where are we? Here we go, farm running through the back garden. Apart from that, I like this area. This area is a win for me. And of course, everybody's favorite factory as well. Now, remember we skipped over the intersection early? Well, here's why. Looks good, yeah. That looks all right. A little bit clunky. 
let's pull back. There's your mass transit roads I was talking about. And here, here is a disaster. How did this slip through? Creator, how, how did this slip through? I, d I thought this was me. I actually reloaded the map because I thought I'd grab them with move it or something. But this is this is part. Of How did that slip through, Creator? I don't I don't get it. I don't. <laughs> uh, start square. Start square looks very nice. And as well, we have uh, the asset pack of the day. This is the Italian Social House Jorit Graffiti Napoli by Zarix. Zarix top creator loving all of their work and now they're going using the Jorick graffiti on the sides of buildings as well i mean what more do you want from a creator the next image i think is diego maradona <laughs> maybe i'm wrong um factoids because factoids you know okay good kid mad city well there's no mad people here so factoid a nomad is a member of a community without fixed habitation, which regularly moves to and from the same areas. Such groups include hunter-gatherers, pastoral nomads, owning livestock, tinkers, and traders. In the 20th century, the population of nomadic and pastoral tribes slowly decreased, reaching an estimated 30 to 40 million nomads in the world as of 1995, which even I know is like, more than two years ago <laughs> can we have an update can we have can we have a new census of the nomads please because the old nomad joke why are there nomads in the desert no why aren't there asylums in the desert that's it because there are nomad people there <sighs> how to ruin the joke italian social house joy graffiti napoli by zarix very nice <laughs> Definitely the asset pack of the day. Good work. Good work. One click. Grab them all. Use them. Use them in your Italian build. Use them here. If you like the map enough, do you? If you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know. How? <laughs> click the link in the description or in the top right corner of your screen. Take it to the voting page where you can vote. Is it a one star map? Is it a five star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewers' choice top 10. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Only you can decide. But what do I think of today's map? Well, aesthetically, I think it's a good one, actually. I think um, uh, in terms of fantastical maps, it's an interesting design. I don't think it quite comes together enough. I mean, it's it's striking. It's It was close to four stars, but I think the overall design doesn't quite knit together. So I'm going to go for a very high three stars, but very close to a fourth. Detailing. Um, see, the thing is, this is pretty much a two-star map, but there are some really cool areas on this map that I feel bring it up. So I'm going to give it a low three, but there's there's some big, big problems that need fixing. OK, so low three gameplay potential. Well, it needs mass transit. It needs network extensions too. technically it's broken. And for me, it was broken because of tree anarchy. But that's beside the point. So I've got to give it one star, I'm afraid. Uh, knock a miss by good kid mad city oh what an interesting map and the creator has clearly got skills i think we're going to be seeing some really good stuff uh creator if you're watching this one just spend a bit more time checking the map over do what i do do a flyover of the map just looking for stuff random stuff make a list of them and then you're good to go but i see that you've already done that and that's the right spirit you just haven't done it enough Anyway, if you're still here, you're part of the 20 and 8 Elite Use the Word of the Day in the comments. Score yourself some population points just for fun. And I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the What's Map series. And it might be a good one. Who knows? Join me. Find out.